We're here this morning at Central Beekeeper Supply, May the 14th. We've had some thunder, some lightning. Uh, we've tried to film a little bit in the darkness. It's almost impossible to do. We've had to let it get a little bit of light. We've had a whole lot of bees already go out this morning. We got these folks picking their bees up today. We're all having a big time. We're gonna get these bees moving because they get extremely hot inside these boxes. Justin, you need anything today, brother? Oh, I think we're Busy as usual. Hello, Fred, how are you, sir? Got plenty, got plenty, don't we? Yeah, we're starting to put a dent in them, All right, y'all experience any rain, AM? No, just lightning. Yeah, just lightning. Yep. Well, I heard it thunder once. I saw the lightning while it was still dark. Uh, Jason tried to get some footage in the, it, it's, all you can see is white boxes. Right. It ain't nothing else but noise and background. They were a little bit hot this morning. We had the smoke in quiet. So yeah. They around the smoke, but they this humidity pile them out front. Yep. They finally, finally sucked back in there and let us close them in. Well, we got all these folks up there here and hurrying and doing the best thing for the bees, so we'll let you carry right. on. Thank you. Good for you. As you can tell, we've got rows of nooks, and as I said, there's already been a bunch of these that have gone on to people's homes to be installed into their boxes um, we're gonna we're gonna have quite a lot to do this morning uh, it's always important that folks get here uh, a.m. we put in a small window for a reason these bees need to get home and installed they get hot in these boxes we don't want any casualties um, these bees are big nukes uh, they're ready to get home get in the box and start being expanded that's the the goal number one is the uh, health of these bee colonies so you know everyone who does business here they're, they're great folks they come down here they they do as they're asked um, and they respect the fact that these honey bees need to be taken care of and we're here to help them do that very thing y'all stay tuned hang out with us a while we're gonna we're gonna sell some bees and have a great day thanks for watching Do you have anything you want to say to YouTube? No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get you? <laughs> you <laughs> you Yep. That's not a bad price. 
problem. <laughs> Did y'all drive down in any rain? Yeah. Did you? Till this side of Ozark. Okay, so it's coming. Yeah. Okay. Of course, how you holding up after uh, getting up at 4 a.m.? <laughs> Good. Huh? Good. These B days are fun, aren't they? Yes. They just start a little earlier than we'd like, but mm -hmm. it is a lot of fun, I agree. We are about three quarters of the way bees going out. We set a timeline uh, for the, the health and the benefit of the bees. We like to have bees picked up between 6 a.m. And, and 9 a.m. It's a short period of time, but it's also the best time because it's the coolest part of the day. So Cora and I got down here pretty early this morning and uh, it's going real smooth. Everybody's mindful of the bees, mindful of time and, and mindful of knowing that they got to get these bees home in their boxes, open, let them fly, get a little feed on them. Uh, we'd also like to say that, you know, Y'all get a chance to run by, come see us. There's a lot more in the store now than just beekeeping, beekeeping apparel and bees. We have products available, um, tea, hot honey. We have gifts. We have puzzles. We have tea now available, uh, all different types of, of flavors. Uh, white rock granola out of Texas. This is, Cora pointed out to me, that the queen spotting book, um, a very helpful tool to teach you to be able to identify the queen when she is in the hive and amongst all the bees. Sometimes, you know, it's a little bit hard to spot her, but uh, the reality of that is there's ways to train your eyes to pick her up. This also happens to be the the book of the month. We do a book of the month every month and put it at 15% off. So take advantage of that also. Um, you, you're able to train yourself with this as you go towards the back of the book. Uh, the, the find of the queen gets harder. Uh, a lot of y'all may have already picked her out. I've got her found. Uh, come by and pick up a book, see what you think, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great coffee table piece for uh, entertainment. If uh, you, you got people over that are interested in bees, this is a great way to break the ice. There she is. Thank y'all. Hope y'all are having a great weekend. Cora and I sure are. Come see us. We appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Until we see y'all again, roll yeah. that beautiful bee footage. Yeah! <laughs> you guys appreciate y'all. Right. Have a good day.
I think that this gentleman kind of wraps up the morning and that's, that's uh, been our number. Yeah. Uh, everything went well on, on our end, I think it did on y'all's. Uh, boy, got blessed with a cool morning. That's a great thing considering these last few days of heat that we've had. Um, all these folks, this gentleman's headed to Oklahoma with his. Uh, he's probably got a little rain to drive through on the way back. Have you uh, had people concerned with the nuke setting in the back of the truck in the rain? I have. What, 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 I think I know the answer, but what do you tell these folks with their concerns? So I, I promote keeping the nukes in the bed of a truck no matter what. It's a lot of risk having them inside the cab of any vehicle. But rain's not a problem. They've been in that box sitting out, out on a pallet for the last six weeks. So not gonna, Rain's not a factor. Not all. So okay. I would much rather them be in the back getting plenty of airflow and, and staying cool than uh, especially going to Oklahoma. Yeah, on a long day. Yeah. Just don't yeah. want to stop along the way. That's great. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up for today, folks. So we appreciate y'all being along on the journey with us on this uh, beautiful May morning for Nuke Day. Um, until we see you again. Justin Lowe, Kyle, Core Jean, myself, roll that beautiful bee footage. Thanks for watching.